Hello, this is Ramon Martinez. It's Tuesday, September the 2nd, 2014. And I'm talking with Jose Montes de Oca. Hello, Jose? my name is Jose Montes de Oca. And I was uh, born on June 23rd, 1953, in a small little town in the San Joaquin Valley by the name of Los Palos. Now, that's all I know about the town is that I was born there because my parents were on their way from Texas following the crops to a job that my dad had been promised in a small town named Alvarado, and which is now a part of Union City. We uh, got to Alvarado and ultimately settled in in another little pueblito town uh, named Dicoto. Dicoto and Alvarado in 1958 merged and became Union City. I was uh, I grew up there, and but I was told that that was uh, not somewhere that I should get used to by my dad because he kept telling us that we were going to move back to Texas. We, th we think that he used to tell us that because he didn't want us to get into trouble um, at that time. There were a lot of drugs and alcohol there, and he wanted us to stay out of trouble. At one time, it was the heroin capital of the Bay Area, and so that was my dad's way of, of keeping us off the corner, off the main, if you will, because every town has a main. Um, every year we would uh, travel to uh, my dad's hometown at least once, sometimes twice a year, to visit family and also to see my mom's family that uh, lived uh, on the other side of the uh, border. My dad uh, was born in La Feria, Texas and grew up in Mission, Texas and my mom uh, was uh, born in Coahuila, but grew up in uh, Reynosa, Tamaulipas, which is right on the other side of the, uh, of the border of, uh, of Mission in McAllen, Texas. We, uh, we, we went there every every year at least twice and I got uh, influenced by my uncles and my grandfather on my mom's side because they owned a carniceria and um, a carniceria is nothing like it is in the United States and uh, so I learned how to cut meat. I learned how to uh, make barbacoa, uh, cabezas in, in el pozo, and uh, how to make uh, uh, chicharrones. And um, as I was growing up in Dicoto, there was a market there called Cardenas Market and they were from Texas and my dad was very good friends with them and he got his jobs there and they also made barbacoa Texas style and uh, chicharrones and so I used the skills that I learned in Reynosa as a kid uh, to uh, uh, to work at the Cardenas Market. 
when uh, we came to uh, the Bay Area, my dad was 26 years old. My mom was 21. And I was the third of three that got here. My oldest brother, Julio. Um, my oldest sister, Olga. Myself. And then in Dikoro, three more were born. My younger brother, Rene. My younger sister, Aurora. Or Becky before her. And Rory was we called her Rory, uh, was the youngest. And um, th they comprised the Montes de Oca family, Julio Montes de Oca, Enriqueta, Julio Jr., Olga, myself, Jose, Rene, Becky, and Aurora. We arrived in, in Dikoro uh, when I was, right after I was born in 1953, and my sister was born, my youngest sister was born in 1958, 59, uh, and uh, that, that comprised uh, our, our family. We. Uh, we decided, my dad and my mom finally decided to buy a house and in 1961 they bought a house on 5th Street in Dakota and that house still stands today. Working at Cardenas Market was important because as a youngster I learned a lot of skills. I also learned the responsibilities of a job. I was uh, 14, 15 years old and I had a job and I could buy my own things. Uh, and But beyond that, uh, I got to make barbacoa Tejano style uh, as uh, compared to uh, barbacoa Mexicano style. Barbacoa in Mexico is considered uh, uh, cabeza de, de uh, cow's head and they, they would dig these big uh, holes in, in the ground and they would put uh, uh, charcoal or uh, wood and they'd have it heat up and then they would put uh, laminate down and uh, once all of the uh, all of it uh, was was now charcoal, they put that down, and we uh, we put the, the cow's heads in these burlap sacks that had been soaking, and we would, uh, my, my uncles did it in such a way uh, that, and the hole was so big that we would cook 10, to 15 at a time. My uncle and my grandfather used to sell to the uh, restaurants and so we would do this all night and in the morning uh, 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 once it was done we would take the cow's heads out but we would put the cow's heads in once the uh, uh, once the wood had turned into charcoal and we put those the heads in uh, with burlap sacks we covered that with another aluminum uh, uh, a laminate and then covered that with dirt and uh, so that there would be uh, no 
uh, no way of having the the uh, the air to come out, and so it would cook in, uh, in inside the hole. And uh, we would take it out in the morning, and uh, we would uh, we would take them apart and and take them to the uh, to the different restaurants, or we would sell it there at the at the carniceria that my uncle and my grandfather had, and of course we also ate some for breakfast. <laughs> uh, uh, the the other thing that we cooked was uh, chicharrones, and we uh, my uncle would cut up uh, a uh, a pork uh, and. He cut it up, the head, the entire, uh, the entire body, and uh, cut it up in such a way so that all of that was put into a, a copper uh, a pot, huge copper pot that hand, could handle an entire, an, an entire adult. Uh, 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 piece of puerco. And high school wasn't the panacea. Uh, high school, my high school years were difficult because my father uh, was a very strict disciplinarian and my mom uh, protected us from him uh, a, a lot. And my dad used to come home with his uh, six pack of beer every day, and he would uh, uh, he 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 would by the end of the night have drank that six pack, and uh, he didn't. See at least in my point of view, didn't have much positive things to say about us. Um, and uh, so I, I think I veered towards uh, counseling because I was trying to work out what happened. Um, as, as I got older, um, uh, my father and, and I grew further and further apart. I think probably the, the closest we um, got when I was in high school was when I was working at the Holly Sugar because I worked alongside of him at times and I think he secretly wanted me to work there. He was trying to make a place where I could work there once I graduated from high school and make it a career. And in high school I was I was learning that I I could do a lot better. And I, I didn't, uh, my dad and I, as a result, had, uh, had a lot of arguments. Um, my dad came from the old school where uh, when you graduate, you, or when you finish school, you, um, you get a job and you, you bring that check home for the family. And uh, I was l learning that you, uh, you graduate, you, you uh, work towards 
becoming something of yourself and um, that you ultimately you move out of the house that you, you go on and create your own life uh, away from uh, the family which was completely different from what the expectation was and so ultimately that schism uh, was there throughout and uh, I remember the day that I was leaving uh, I had my car all packed up uh, and um, everybody came out and they went to say goodbye to me and hug me and and wish me well and uh, my father had already had a few and he threw me out of the house and uh, that had a big impact on me and so I I think veering towards um, towards uh, uh, counseling and 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 in sociology was um, my way of trying to figure things out. I went to Mexico and, and I took slides uh, of a lot of the artwork that I studied and learned from uh, through Dr. Freemark and I brought back and I gave him uh, a, a set of everything that I took. Uh, another person was Dr. Jose Jorge Clor de Alba. He uh, taught a uh, uh, philosophy class, uh, introduction to uh, 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 Mexican uh, or Mayan uh, uh, thought. Uh, uh, Dr. Garcia, history, uh, Tino Esparza, uh, a person that, uh, uh, aside from uh, taking a class from him, we became very, very good friends. Uh, Jess Delgado, uh, he taught a class uh, entitled uh, Chicanos in Politics, uh, amongst others. Uh, Felix Garcia, uh, 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 history. Um, uh, so a lot of those people uh, were the reason that I decided on San Jose State. They also encouraged me to to get involved in what was going on at San Jose State, so much so that I decided to get involved in what was then called Quetal Publications. We used to bring together uh, uh, poetry and short stories that uh, Latino students were publishing uh, and, as w and add artwork and uh, and we would uh, publish them uh, at least one per semester and uh, we continued the tradition that had started uh, years before and uh, uh, in 1973 74 we uh, published uh, the anthology uh, of, uh, of Quetal and uh, so those are the kinds of things that that uh, that that I got involved with at San Jose State. I uh, got my BA in uh, uh, sociology, minored in psych, uh, and uh, and also with, uh, in Mexican American studies, and. Uh, I 
was hired. Um, I was actually recruited uh, by uh, an individual that was establishing a counseling center uh, in East San Jose when I was graduating. And so when I, when I finished school, I already had a job. And ultimately, I worked there for uh, 19 years the first time. And I went from being a, uh, uh, a counselor to ultimately becoming the executive director of that counseling center, the Alamora Counseling Center. And, and I, uh, uh, I got a, uh, I, an opportunity to uh, hire uh, a lot of young Latinos uh, coming out of San Jose State as well.